this is a collaboration with Astron X, an amazing YouTube channel about interstellar travel. The link is in the description below, make sure to subscribe them. Nuclear fusion rockets are considered to be a possibility for interstellar travel. They would have many advantages over nuclear fission, such as no risk of meltdown and higher delta V. Since the 70s, several designs of interstellar fusion rockets have been proposed. In 1978, the British Interplanetary Society announced Project Daedalus, a spacecraft that could achieve 12% the speed of light. In 2009, the same society, together with the Tau Zero Foundation, announced Project Icarus, a similar spacecraft that could achieve 15% the speed of light. That year, a physicist called Edward Winterberg announced a fusion spacecraft that could be used as a capacitor to produce proton beams that would ignite deuterium microbombs. However, this technology would have to be constructed in space and the cost would be too expensive. For this reason, Winterberg proposes that the nuclear fuel could be ignited by March generators. A March generator is a type of electrical circuit able to produce a high voltage pulse by using capacitors. In this line, chief scientist of Icarus Interstellar Adam Kroll has suggested that a two-stage configuration of the Winterberg rocket could achieve 20% the speed of light. The Starship would weigh 120,000 tons and the amount of deuterium necessary would be 12 million tons. It would only take around 20 years to reach the closest potentially habitable exoplanet, Proxima b. Thankfully, research on nuclear propulsion looks promising. The first nuclear fusion rocket could be ready for launch by 2028. To know more about this type of rockets, click the link in the description below and make sure to subscribe to Asteron X. Here there is a short introduction to their channel. Astron X is an organization with the ultimate goal of exploring and conducting research in space with a fleet of starships to ultimately seek, find, colonize, and or terraform other worlds beyond our solar system. And to this end, we are researching and discussing the technologies that will be needed to increase interest in real starships, to share our findings, to encourage and to inspire their development. Thank you very much for watching and feel free to subscribe to my channel.